U.S. President Donald Trump has insisted he is not under investigation, while dismissing the FBI director he fired as a showboat and grandstander. Mr. Trump also told NBC News it was his decision alone to sack James Comey. Mr. Comey was leading an inquiry into alleged Russian meddling in the U.S. election and possible collusion between Trump campaign officials and Moscow. Mr. Trump has dismissed the probe as a charade, a claim directly contradicted by Mr. Comey's successor. In his first interview since firing the FBI director, Mr. Trump told NBC News on Thursday he had asked Mr. Comey whether he was under investigation. I said, if it's possible would you let me know, am I under investigation? He said, you are not under investigation. I know I am not under investigation, Mr. Trump told the interviewer, repeating a claim he made in Tuesday's letter of dismissal to Mr. Comey. The president also appeared to undercut the initial White House explanation that he fired Mr. Comey on the recommendation of top justice officials. He's a showboat. He's a grandstander. The FBI has been in turmoil. I was going to fire Comey. My decision, Mr. Trump said. I was going to fire regardless of recommendation. There's no collusion between me and my campaign and the Russians, he added. Mr. Trump recently tweeted that the Russia-Trump collusion allegations were a total hoax. But on Thursday he denied he wanted the FBI inquiry dropped. In fact, I want the investigation speeded up, the president told NBC. Mr. Trump said he had just sent a letter via a law firm to Republican Senator Lindsey Graham stating that he has no stake in Russia. I have nothing to do with Russia, he said. I have no investments in Russia. I don't have property in Russia. I'm not involved with Russia. On Thursday afternoon Mr. Trump retweeted a five-month-old post by comedian Rosie O'Donnell, his arch foe in the world of entertainment. Many liberals had previously called for Mr. Cummy to be removed, blaming his updates last year about the FBI inquiry into Hillary Clinton's emails for Mr. Trump's shock election victory. The White House has depicted the Russia inquiry as probably one of the smallest things that the FBI has got going on their plate. But acting FBI Director Andrew McCabe said on Thursday that it was a highly significant investigation. In testimony to the Senate Intelligence Committee, he also cast doubt on White House claims that Mr. Cummy had lost the confidence of his staff. I can confidently tell you that the vast majority of employees enjoyed a deep and positive connection to Director Cummy, Mr. McCabe said. The acting FBI director vowed not to update the White House on the status of the investigation and to notify the Senate panel of any attempt to interfere with the inquiry. Republican Committee Chairman Richard Burr asked Mr. McCabe if he had ever heard Mr. Cummy tell Mr. Trump the president was not the subject of investigation. Mr. McCabe said he could not comment on an ongoing inquiry. The acting FBI director did not confirm reports that Mr. Cummy had asked for more resources for the agency's Russia inquiry. Mr. McCabe said he believed the FBI had sufficient funding to conduct the probe. Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, who penned a memo detailing Mr. Cummy's serious mistakes brought a reputation for even-handedness and probity with him to the job of Deputy Attorney General. Two weeks later, that reputation is being put to the test. Such is life in the Trump White House, where every appointee and aide is just one tweet, event or press conference away from the maelstrom. On Tuesday night, as the administration press shop scrambled to explain the president's surprise decision to sack his FBI director. Trump supporters leaned hard on Mr. Rosenstein's credentials to paint the move as a non-partisan decision based on Mr. Cummey's overall job performance. The Deputy Attorney General reportedly balked at the characterization that he was the driving force behind Mr. Cummey's dismissal, however. Mr. Rosenstein's threat to resign is different than actually packing bags, of course, and his fate at this point is still tethered firmly to the president he chose to serve. There is a way out, though. Due to Attorney General Jeff Sessions' recusal on the matter, it's Mr. Rosenstein's call whether to appoint a special counsel to head the Justice Department's Russia investigation.
it may be the one card he can play to sidestep the growing frenzy that spins around him. 52-year-old Harvard graduate confirmed by U.S. Senate as Deputy Attorney General on 25 April. Had strong bipartisan backing with 94-6 vote in his favor. Overseeing federal investigation of alleged Russian interference in November's elections, after Attorney General Jeff Sessions, recused himself over meetings with Moscow's envoy in Washington. Appointed by President George W. Bush as U.S. Attorney in Maryland and kept on by President Barack Obama. Reputation as a political and professional. Wrote memo detailing serious mistakes by Mr. Cummey, but did not expressly call for his removal. Donald Trump says he asked his now-fired FBI director on three occasions whether he was the target of ongoing investigations, stoking allegations of presidential interference. Trump acknowledged asking James Comey if he was the subject of counterintelligence probes into Russian influence in the 2016 election, twice in conversations over the phone and once over a White House dinner. I actually asked him, yes. I said, if it's possible would you let me know, am I under investigation? He said, you are not under investigation, Trump recounted repeating an assertion made when the White House announced Cummy's firing on Tuesday. All I can tell you is, well I know what, I know that I'm not under investigation. Me. Personally. I'm not talking about campaigns. I'm not talking about anything else. I'm not under investigation. Trump's comments, made in an interview with NBC raised questions about whether he had acted inappropriately and whether Cummy had broken government guidelines. U.S. presidents are normally at pains to avoid any suggestion of interference or even commenting on ongoing investigations. The FBI typically does not confirm their existence. Noted legal scholar Lawrence Tribe told AFP that if Cummy did indeed answer Trump's question, it would violate Department of Justice rules and would be unthinkably unethical and unprofessional in this situation. Trump also said that at the dinner, he and Cummy discussed whether the U.S. top cop would stay in his role and continue his 10-year term. Asking such a question would come close to bribery, or at least obstruction of justice, which Cummy would have had to be an idiot to fall for by offering the assurance sought. Tribe said that the White House rejected the suggestion the exchange was inappropriate. I don't see it as a conflict of interest, White House spokeswoman Sarah Huckabee Sanders said. In the NBC interview, Trump insisted that he always intended to fire Cummy, undercutting the initial White House explanation that he acted on the recommendation of top justice officials who criticized the FBI chief's handling of a probe into Hillary Clinton's emails. I was going to fire him regardless of recommendations, said the president. He's a showboat, he's a grandstander. Opponents have claimed that Cummy's shock sacking was a bid to stall an FBI investigation into alleged Russian meddling in the 2016 election, which is also looking into possible collusion between the Kremlin and Trump's team. Vice President Mike Pence and a string of White House officials have said Trump acted upon the advice of Attorney General Jeff Sessions and his deputy Rod Rosenstein, although administration officials have also said the president had steadily lost confidence in Cummy's leadership prior to firing him. Rosenstein is expected to brief senators on the issue next week. Trump's interview was released on the same day the interim head of the FBI told the U.S. Congress that Cummy's sacking would not derail the Russia investigation. There has been no effort to impede our investigation to date, Acting Director Andrew McCabe told the Senate Intelligence Committee, in a hearing that capped two days of high drama provoked by the dismissal. You cannot stop the men and women of the FBI from doing the right thing, he said. All of the agents involved in the investigation are still in their positions. In his NBC interview, Trump said that had Russia interfered in the 2016 election, it would have been horrible. He repeated denials of links between his campaign and Moscow. There's no collusion between me, my campaign and the Russians, he said. While Trump told NBC that the outgoing director had left the agency in turmoil, 
McCabe rejected any suggestion that Cummy had lost the support of the FBI's rank and file. Director Cummy enjoyed broad support within the FBI and still does today, he told the committee. Echoing a widely held view in opposition ranks, the senior Democrat on the Senate committee, John Warner, called the timing of Cummy's dismissal especially troubling.